Cancer, thanks for being here. This is your weekly reading for November the 6th to November the 12th. If you like this reading, please like or subscribe or make a comment um, if you'd like to, but only if you'd like to. So I have everything shuffled and ready. So let's start your reading for Cancer. So the first card you have for your past is the Four of Cups. So I'm seeing that you were, um, you're feeling like you weren't appreciated um, at this time, actually. And um, this could be in your workplace or something related to work, but I, I'm thinking, I'm seeing it's in a workplace with a group of people. And yes, someone else who doesn't deserve this has been treated really well, and you haven't been treated as well as this person, or you weren't at this time for some reason. Um, yeah, there's something you should have been standing up for and saying at this time, but you would have been really brave if you did this because, you know, it's your job and you have to be professional where you are and, you know, your, your job might be on the line, I don't know. Um, but there was definitely an unfair situation coming up um, where nobody was saying anything. And yes, this is in your past, so this could have been resolved. I hope it has been, but if not, have a think about how you might um, resolve this or get something, get some resolution with the situation. So the next card you have your past is the Knight of Swords. So yes, there's someone close to you who wasn't seeing something in the right way. And or maybe they were doing the wrong thing or they were getting in with the wrong people or something like that. There was, they were being involved in people who weren't very good for them or there was some something wrong going on they were getting into and you know you tried to talk to this person so it was like um, you were trying to rescue them from themselves in a way but maybe you're a bit forceful when you're trying to talk to them and they didn't listen or they went the other way they went in the opposite way you wanted them to go so yes this is in the past but I'm seeing that um, it's still not too late to talk to this person if you want to talk to them again um, just be careful about how you speak to this person though, because they can be a bit sensitive and you know if you're a little bit a tiny little bit away from what they would like you know might I hope this makes sense it might make them kind of go in the opposite way or become angry and not listen to you at all so just be very careful when you speak to this person and think about how you can speak to them in a way that um, they'll want to listen to you so the last card you have your past is the Queen of Pentacles. So yes, um, I am seeing support here. So you did come back and try to support this person. And I'm also seeing that you've been trying to, or you have been putting some time into improving yourself in some way. Um, and this is physically. I'm not seeing you doing any great big exercise, or maybe you have, but I'm just seeing that, you know, you've been kind to yourself and taking care of yourself. So you might have been getting a lot more sleep, rest, or maybe you've been eating properly, eating healthily, something like that. So the first card you have for your present is the Nine of Wands. So I'm seeing strength here, and I'm also seeing boundaries. So there's someone in your past who wanted you to... Um, they wanted you to compromise something or compromise a lot or compromise on something that was important to you. Um, this could be an ex actually because it's someone from your past. They're not around you physically anymore. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so even though you're really hurt from this experience and this person really hurt you and it was a horrible time, you really learned from this time because at this time in your present, you're actually really, really strong. And you know if someone wants to push these boundaries now, you're very strong, you won't let them do that. You won't compromise on things that are important to you from now on. So that's what you've learned from that time. So that's how you are in the present. So it's actually turned out that, you know, it's it's been good for you in this way. So the next card you have for your present is the Emperor. So again, this is about you feeling really strong within yourself. And yeah, this is really great. And I'm also seeing that you were thinking on, or at this time you're thinking about um, relying on some other people, but then when you thought about these particular people, you decided that they weren't the right people to rely on. So maybe they're a bit unreliable, but maybe you just thought you could do a better job yourself. And so that's what you did. You just decided to rely on yourself here. So you're very, very strong inside yourself. So um, being by yourself and relying on yourself and doing a lot of things for yourself is fine. You don't have a problem with this at this time. So yes, obviously you can't rely on yourself forever, all the time, on everything. But in this situation, that's what you felt was for the best. And actually it was. 
um, or it is, it's in your present, I'm sorry, so it will, it will turn out to be the best for you. So the last card you have for your present is the Page of Pentacles. So yes, for single people um, who are looking for someone, I'm just seeing someone new coming in for you. And this person has a really innocent way about them and they're really fun and they're really playful. They're a really fun personality. They sound like a really amazing person. Um, yeah, this is just really, really nice. And they like to have fun, but they also love learning. So they might be a student or they might not be a student. They might, they might just really like learning new things. So yes, if this resonates, you'll know who this is, but I like the sound of this person. I like them myself. So yes, for your future, the first card you have is the Ten of Cups. So I love this card. This is another really fantastic card and I'm really glad you have this in your future. So you're definitely going to be blessed at this time and you really do deserve this. You've been through a lot of things in your past and you do deserve this happiness. So you're going to be connecting um, with a lot of people at this time too. And there are a few people who you haven't seen for a while actually. And I'm just seeing you getting back into contact with some of these people and it's going to be really positive. It's the, when you connect with these people, it will be positive. There won't be any negativity. You'll just be really relaxed and you'll really enjoy your time with these people. So the next card you have in your future is the Queen of Cups. So this is another really positive card. So this is a fantastic reading, especially in your future. And yes, for single people again, this is about this person in the Page of Pentacles. And I'm just seeing this new person, yet yeah, they're really, really fun, I keep seeing this. And they're also really open and honest. So in a kind of a very innocent way, they're like an open book and they like to tell you things. So. At this time in your future, this person's going to be telling you something about themselves and you're going to really emphasize, emphasize, empathize, <laughs> emphasize, you're going to really empathize, that's what I'm trying to say, you're going to really empathize with this person, so you're going to really understand them, you're going to really feel a lot closer to them when they're opening up to you about this thing, that's what I'm seeing. So yes, the last card you have for your future is the Two of Pentacles. So this is reflecting in the Nine of Wands. What I'm seeing is you are so determined not to compromise on things in your present. Now, in this time in your future, you'll be facing some sort of situation where you'll have to compromise on something. So you're going to be juggling your feelings about this, whether this is what you want to do, whether that's, this means you're weak, or whether this means you're going backwards. And it won't, it won't mean that if you compromise, because there are some compromises that are fine to make, they're okay. But you're going to be really juggling um, how you feel about this thing that you're going to compromise on, or you're going to be thinking about this. And you'll be conflicted, um, but your feet will be planted firmly on the ground. So you'll have a lot of stability beneath you. So whatever decision you make, um, you will make the right decision in the end. That's what I'm seeing. So Cancer, I hope this resonated, but again, this is a general reading, so it won't always resonate with everyone, as I always say. But if you'd like, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. And thank you so much for watching.